All right, Validator Community Call is starting. Welcome everyone, thanks for joining. Uh, today we've got a couple things to talk about. So first, some network updates. Uh, second, we'll talk about docs and um, a delegation website feedback. So if anyone has thoughts or opinions on the delegation website, I'll, I'll mention it again in just a minute. Um, and finally, uh, the Marinade team is here. Marinade's gonna give a talk on a couple items. So first of all, some changes to their validator, validator delegation strategy. Um, next, the new decentralizer tool that they've been working on. Um, they're going to give a walkthrough and talk about that. And finally, um, some, I don't actually know what this feature is, but the validator gauge feature that was voted on by their DAO is going to be implemented. Um, and we'll be talking about that a little bit as well. So. Thank you, Lucio, for joining and talking about everything. Um, all right, cool. So network updates, let's start there. Um, first thing to know is that Quick is still under development, um, still being tested in testnet. Uh, as you all know, it's a pretty complicated change. So patience there for, for the testing and making sure we get all the bugs out. Um, I, I know everyone's been patiently awaiting that. So uh, hold tight. and. I've been told by the engineering team, no, no dates, but um, you know, they're working out the bugs as we speak. Um, the other update is that 1.9.12 is recommended now for mainnet. Uh, encourage everyone to update to 1.9.12 in mainnet. There's some stability improvements that should help with all your validators there. So if you, oh, sorry, wrote that down backwards, 21. <laughs> A little dyslexia there. 1.9.21 is now recommended. Um, so please update to that uh, in order to get the stability improvements uh, there. All right, hey, next. Yeah, uh, go ahead. A quick question. Uh, I mean, we're dealing, we're looking at a pretty high skip rate at the moment. So I've been waiting um, for some of the congestion to settle down. Um, what are the nature of the stability improvements? And is it considered urgent that we should do it in the face of a high skip rate? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, the the release notes don't give a lot of information, so I'd have to give you. I have to get back to you on that. <laughs> um, yeah, some of the engineering team is away right now on a sort of like a, a group call, so um, the response may not be immediate. But I think for now you can stay on whatever version you're on until you get the response. Okay, great. Yeah, so I owe everyone a response on that. Uh, any other questions about general updates to the validator? No. Okay. Um, all right, next thing. Um, one of the things I've been working on here are some docs. Um, and I'm gonna put that in the chat. The idea for these docs is to be a community resource. So if anyone is interested in contributing, adding more, um, I've been meeting with some of you one-on-one -on -one and getting feedback, uh, but the more feedback, the better on things you want to see, um, things you feel like you missed out on when you read through the, the main docs and didn't quite cover it well enough, or just something that you do in your day-to-day -day operations as a validator that you think other community members could benefit from. Um, I'm happy to either facilitate you doing a pull request to add those features, or if you tell me kind of like your ideas of what you want to add, I can add it myself as well. So um, happy to get contributions in form of suggestions or contributions in the form of pull requests to the repo. Uh, it's written in Docusaurus, similar to the uh, validator docs on docs.salon.com. So should be pretty straightforward to contribute to, but I can always help out as well. Um, all right, any questions there? All right, uh, again, the, the link's in the chat. Please take a look, um, and I'll be reaching out to people as well to get feedback directly if, um, yeah, as, as needed. Uh, next thing here is the delegation program. So, the delegation program is looking for feedback on the website and in general feedback about the delegation program. 
Uh, there is a link posted in the community validator discussion post in uh, validator announcements. So if you have feedback there, uh, please feel free to use that Calendly and, and find some time with us to, to give us feedback. I'll put the, the whole blurb from Ella in the chat as well. Um, Thank you. Um, yeah, there's a Calendly link there where you can uh, get feedback or schedule an interview for feedback. Any questions on that? No? All right, cool. Well, that's all the announcements. I'll turn it over to Lucio with the Marinade team for uh, new Marinade features and tools. Thank you very much, Tim. I will make it uh, short. I will love to answer questions uh, better than to extend me, extend too much in the explanation. We will be presenting three new things right now. One is uh, a small change in, in how do we rebalance the stake. Marinade, up, right from the start and, and up, up to now, we were, uh, let's say, waiting for waves of stake and unstake in the Marinade application in order to uh, adjust the stake of the of the more than 400 validators we are staking into. So it was a slow process. The idea was to not move too much stake from one validator to other to, to, to provide some, some stability. But uh, um, right now, the, the, the changes in validator performance are moving faster than the waves of, of a stake and a stake in the in the marinade application so we are introducing a, a new a new instruction in the in the back end is and it's a new tool for the delegation strategy that is called partial and state what we can do now if is if there are a lot of validators that are performing really well but there are no much people staking we will be able to partial and stake validators that are overstaked so in the next epoch we will be able to stake on the on the validators that are performing well so it means that our our speed to reach target our speed to 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 let's say a stake where the good performance is will be way more faster that that will be important and maybe you see that and, and anything you need to, if you have any question you you can ask it in the in the Discord to, to see how it works. Uh, second thing that that's uh, a public good project that we did with a grant from Solana Foundation. The situation is the following. We, we are seeing that there is a lot of soul that either belongs to large whales, belongs to people that are self-validating, or belong to people that for legal and tax reasons cannot a stake in marinade and get a, a, a liquid token. So what we build is we use all the, the technology of scoring validators and, and monitoring validators and, and balancing the stake, but we remove the, the on-chain program. So we create something that is called the decentralizer and the, the users do not get a, a, a liquid token in return, but the rest of Marinade is working uh, in that uh, in that program in in that tool. So, for example, if you have a, a big a big stake account, let's say one million so, and you don't want to uh, have the problem of, of, of diversifying it manually with the with the decentralizer, you delegate only. Um, the, the rebalance authority would be the, the, the stake authority, not the withdrawal authority, so you, you never uh, lose control of your funds. And with the delegate authority, the marinade bot will do the, the, the distribution quite similar of, of the distribution marinade does between more than 400 validators. I think this is good for people that has those accounts and cannot 
for legal reasons or tax reasons, use marinade, but is understands the the need for decentralization and understands that if we decentralize, we make solar stronger, we make uh, so let's say price to 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 rise faster. So we are trying to to promote that. Uh, that tool, even if it, if it, even if it's let's say compete with Marinade itself. So, for example, we don't think that that retail will need to use such tools because you you, you need to have a stake account. You don't get uh, the liquid stake, and you don't get DeFi yield and anything. But uh, we will try to promote it with people that has a large uh, stake accounts is long in soul and understands the need for decentralization this is the this decentralizer and the and the third the third item is this is quite important too uh right now marinade is using this the scorer this open source program that just uh, automatically measures and, uh, and tracks uh, validator performance and uh, distributing based on, on on the result of that uh, there was there were several comments that sometimes it's not as easy to to discover automatically which are the good validators because some validators maybe are doing a lot of for the community some other validators maybe are just the clones or or managed by by the same entity so the there was a proposal that has now been passed that that creates the following 10 percent of the money at stake will no longer be automatically distributed. 10% of the marinade stake will be distributed according to votes. And the votes will be made with, an, uh, with the NFTs that we are minting, that in reality are locked MND inside, have locked MND inside of them. So the idea is that uh, people in the validator community and, uh, and uh, the marinade community will be able to at least, let's say, uh, provide more support by, 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 by voting, by decision to certain validators. This will be in, in place, I guess, within the, the next month, but, but we will be, uh, let's say, co communicating with everybody uh, before this, this starts. So I think we, you should know it before everybody before anybody else because let's say uh, holding mnde will will provide you with some way to make uh, to ensure certain amount of stake so we hope that that will be helpful in order to keep validators into the system and uh, provide more let's say some certainty about uh, expenses and rewards um, okay, please, any any question? It was too much, maybe, but... There's a question about a proposal to uh, change change uh, the cooldown period for staking. Uh, so when you de-stake and move somewhere else, uh, are you aware of that? Zan um, linked it. Right now, it is one uh, one epoch only. Uh, I don't know if I understand the, the, the question correctly. Let me check. Oh yes, yes. Sorry, a, a proposal in 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 the, in the Solana in the Solana disco. Yes, yes, that will make uh, the movements way more faster. Yes, but uh, we we asked Sean about that, and and that wasn't let's say uh, near completion or, or 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 something that will be that will be deployed soon. Yes, the the the, the idea for for everyone else is that you have some some stake delegated to one validator, and you can move it to a secondary validator without without uh undelegating and waiting for the cooldown that will make uh, all all stake pools way more efficient 
but also will make it, uh, let's say, stake movements more, more unpredictable. I'm actually curious myself about the mechanics of voting validators into the, the new pool. So if, if you manually vote, who proposes the validator to be voted on or how does that work? Yes, uh, right now we are tracking 1,300 validators. We are staking in, in, I think, near 500, 470 souls in the last time I checked. What you can do with the, with the voting is, let's say, pick either one of, 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 the, of the validators we are staking right now or one of the 1,300 we are tracking. For now, uh, the, the concentrated ones are not allowed to, to be voted, but any one of these 1,300 and vote for them. Vote for the vote key. You 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 associate your vote your voting power to the vote key, and uh, every epoch we take a snapshot of, of the vote. And for example, if one validator gets twenty percent of the vote, it will get twenty it will, it will get twenty percent of the ten percent of Marinette stake. Let's say that will be if Marinette stake is seven million, that will be seven hundred k, one hundred and forty k will go uh, to that validator as long as they get 20% of the vote. Another nice thing is that you don't need to revote every epoch, the vote stays. So if somebody managed to get X amount of vote and uh, there's not more people getting into the system, you, you will make sure that you will get, let's say 2% 2, 2 of the total marinade stake, let's say 20 of the 10 uh, for several epochs. Any other questions for Marinade? Uh, well, one more thing, we are trying to make a, a calculator. I don't remember, uh, I think Cohen Cryptos yeah, has something, some, some calculator that uh, we are trying to maybe add to that in order to be able to compute uh, the cost of getting a stake by, by, by vote versus the cost of uh, of self-staking or getting a stake by other means. The idea is to make, uh, let's say, running a validator more predictable and and to become uh, prof profitable uh, easier. Let's say more before before time and uh, and, and and make it more easy to, to to become profitable and 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 keep adding validators. Cool. Any other questions? We've still got a little bit of time left. All right. I want to thank Lucio and the Marinade team. Uh, one other thing I want to say before we go, um, you know, th this space is for all of you. So if anybody has a topic they want to bring up, uh, a best practice, something they want to do a presentation on, um, we've got a pretty clear schedule going forward. So if, if anybody's passionate about something and wants to talk about it, um, this is this is space for you all to, to do that. Uh, get in touch with me, T.I. Garcia on Discord. Um, happy to help out and facilitate a call or if you just have something that you want to see in this call um, get more info on let me know as well uh, but yeah thank you everyone and i'll see you next time